full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful day Got a lot of 
lots of fun stuff planned that you guys will see later on in the vlog um, but yeah we're gonna continue driving now and I'll show you guys the all set up that we got when we've set it all up This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin So we've, we've made it onto our tent pitch let's um show you the view video does not do it justice but how amazing is that you've got the mountains all over there as well so cool we were so lucky because um the car is gonna be parked just over there um the toilets are there the other toilets are over there, the bins are there and the water's there and there's washing machines over there as well. So we've got in a really, really good spot of a beautiful view of the lakes. I mean, like, look at that. Like the video honestly just doesn't do it justice. So this is the tent. So, so beautiful. And we're gonna go down to the lake um, with our little chairs and a little calzone. We're gonna eat and I'll probably have a little swim to be honest because I kind of want a swim because that water looks really lovely. Um, but yeah, this is our setup on the inside. So the double air mattress basically takes up the whole space but it's fine because you have the car so you'll be able to put the rest of the stuff in there. And I've just got like my essentials in there and my notepads on there, my pens in there. So I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of the toilets and showers whilst we were here. So these are all the sinks, obviously. And then the showers over here. And some more sinks and hair dryers. Um, around here. These are all the toilets. This is a great little facility, really. Got lots of stuff in here. Hmm. We're eating some leftover calzone. Look at the view. Look at that. Honestly, the video just does not do it justice. Like, how pretty is it? Yeah, the next thing. Yeah, no, it's great. So we're going to sit here and eat some calzone and just relax after the very stressful events of putting up the tent. Honestly, that tent was horrible. No, I do, just not tent that comes in two pieces. It, was, it wasn't It was great. It took us like two hours to put up the tent. Yeah. yeah. But it's okay, we've done it now. So we're just gonna chillax for the rest of the day. So yeah, the next time we talk to you guys will be tomorrow. Uh, we're not really doing anything tomorrow. Tomorrow's a spontaneous day. Tomorrow we're exploring. I reckon we should probably try and explore the sports and that. See if we can do anything on the lake here and then go to the town. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Hello everyone. So it's now about three o'clock on the second day. Sorry I haven't updated you guys until now. We've had such a stressful day. It's been not been great to be completely honest. So we were having a good morning, woke up early, woke up at 8 o'clock and then the camping stove um, wasn't working. And then we went to town, I was thinking it would be fine because it wasn't like particularly sunny today and it's a little small town and no, it was so busy, like unbelievably busy. The only thing we wanted to do was get some wetsuits, which took us three hours to find um and the shoes to go with the wetsuits and then we were like okay next thing on the list is an inflatable kayak and because we saw loads of people around here with inflatable kayaks and there was just absolutely none just want to witness 
there is literally one over there that is an inflatable kayak and we were supposed to be like spending today like exploring the area which i guess we've bloody done we've explored, we've explored the whole the town the <sighs> but yeah so today has not been a success but we're gonna put on our have a little break because we're both so exhausted from the stress of walking around all these shops and then we're going to go in the lake hello everyone so it's now 6 30 so it's a bit later on in the day now and um, as you can see it's not great but we've been in the water it was that was actually fun once once we got used to the temperature yeah we were the only people in the lake and it was just like really peaceful like when it was raining and we were swimming in the lake it was quite it was quite nice singing out the movie oh but um, it was nice to relax after the stress of going to the town we figured out how to use our gas cooker some kind man gave us his gas canister because we were told that the adapter in the gas cooker would be able to attach to like any gas canister which he was wrong there we go. good old oh, yeah. spaghetti and sausages it looks bright orange on here i feel like i've entered dad mode <laughs> what so i feel like i've entered dad mode oh. i've got my gas cooker yeah my, my spaghetti but yeah getting out of the water after after getting out of the water when we were swimming it was like absolutely freezing and like when we were in the shower like i was like shaking from like how like cold i was here we go yummy oh it's good it tastes good no, i couldn't help myself but eat some mm. i'm not gonna do much the rest of the day because we're both absolutely exhausted and it's only it's only 6 30 so really it's not even like that late but we'll be doing more interesting stuff during the week i promise um it's just today was kind of like just getting to the grips of the area exploring and today was a spontaneous day wasn't it mm. it's just and kind then, of like a holiday starts isn't it yeah you, know, you have to like go around the area find where everything is get used to like the campsite things like that yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow Here we see the wild geese in the Keswick countryside. They live off what the lake gives them. And you can see the geese are frightened by a predator. These geese remain unfazed. <laughs> Hello everyone, so as you saw it's raining rather a lot. I'm gonna go and climb a mountain in the rain. Um, the view still looks pretty decent to be fair. We might end up going in the clouds a little bit. We don't really know where we're going. And then we're going to go to the outdoor adventure centre so that they can book us in because they're still not answering my calls. Not impressed so far, are we? Yeah. But one thing that I can say about sleeping in the tent, I've had like the best night's sleep ever. I've never slept so well before, since, honestly. Since all the duck wake you up. Yeah, there was there was this crazy gut duck, right? Like, hear me out. In the middle of the night, like, well, it wasn't the middle of the night. It was like early morning, but it was like, a little bit bright. So it was like four a.m. It was like literally like, <laughs> 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 like repeatedly, like some kind of siren, like, just in the middle of the like walking around the campsite. It was so weird. Was, like, did you not hear it? I did you, hear it. You did wake up. I was going to say, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to make some rolls and then we're going to go and hike. It's raining a lot. So this is the view. You can see so far, it's so pretty. We're not even up the mountain yet. Like this is literally just from outside the car park. So we're going to go up even higher than this, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, you can see so far. Um, we took a couple of photos here because it's like a good place to position a tripod. Mm. Mm. It was good. Yeah, we you almost fell off this fence. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. This reminds me of Twilight, like this part here, with all the trees and that. Twilight. Yeah. I've never seen Twilight. Oh, you should watch it. It's so good. 
Not really, but <laughs> it's it's all right. So we're gonna start on our travels now. Get soaked, and hopefully it won't be raining as bad because it wasn't raining that bad when we were taking photos. Yeah. It's only just started raining more. You have to be careful get down the road. Let me go first. What? Let me go first. Wow. Ooh. This looks sick. Ooh. Oh my god. So, oh no, there's more. Oh, little birdie. So many stairs. Ah, oh, yay. Right, I need a break. <laughs> what do you mean? The car park's only just down I there. I know, I'm joking. <laughs> We made it to the top of the mountain. We are in the clouds, as you can see. Some other mountains. There we go. It's a very, very pretty view. The sun's come out. A bit. Yeah, a tiny bit. It's going to dry me off. We're both very soaked. See some cows or horses, I'm not entirely sure. We realised that um well you can't really see because of the clouds. That lake over there. That one is the lake that we're staying at, so we're staying just there. There is a rainbow. Don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a rainbow. Right, so we are going down the mountain now after our lunch at the top of the mountain. And then, because it's not windy at all, like even at the top of the mountain, so we're going to have another go in the lake now that the water's more still um, and have fun doing that We are doing booking canoeing, zipline abseiling and archery i'm gonna be my best um merida catless everdeen impression merida. isn't it merida no it's merida oh, I don't know. oh my god you've never have you never seen brave have you not probably saw it it's a medium like gingers and didn't watch it hello everyone so it's now eight o'clock so we've kind of just spent some time reading, journaling, like in our tent. Josh is just making some tomato and chicken pasta. Um, and then we're going to eat that and watch Love Island, which we're only able to do because they have camp Wi-Fi, which I really, really wasn't expecting. Um, but yeah, I'm happy that they have Wi-Fi here. How are you expecting that? No. Yeah, so tomorrow we got archery and zip lining at 1.30. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All alone. So I woke up and there's loads of geese. And now this guy has to try and get his car out through the whole pool of geese.
Oh my god. So many keys. Good morning everybody. So we've just come back from a trip to town. We went and had a breakfast. I did forget to vlog it. But I did take some pictures so our insert was a very very big breakfast at Weatherspoons which I was so shocked that there was Weatherspoons in Keswick in the middle of the Lake District so we're just going to like just chill for a little bit and then obviously we're, we've got archery at 1.30 which we'll try to vlog as much as that as we can but obviously we might not be able to we don't know yet and then we have the zipline thing at 4.30 Nice and straight. Hello, so we've now finished archery with me. Yeah. Josh did really well as he does with everything. Not really. I think I got the lowest out of everybody and there was six of us. because your bow is broken. We are now in Starbucks waiting um, to go back and do the zip line which will hopefully be a lot more fun but yeah i've got a iced latte with two shots of vanilla syrup i've actually never tried this before but it's all right guys it's actually stopped raining and there's blue skies Yay. We're about to go up the, the stairs to go up on the zip line. It goes really, really high up. Are you scared? No, not really. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you scared? No. No. The sun's shining! This is going to be Josh going down the zip wire. Here we go. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah? I was well scared. Huh? I was well scared. The worst part is the ladder. It's climbing up on the wet ladder. And like yeah. I keep putting my foot on it, it like almost slipped. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Well, I can first and I can record you Yeah, on yeah, I definitely wouldn't have wanted to record it on the zip line. <laughs> he asked me to like lie backwards. Yeah, yeah. Did he tell you to yeah. do that? She's basically running backwards. It's <laughs> put me to shame that has. They're, they're a little bit greasy in it, they, the wood. Yeah, wide legs, quite wide. Mm. Yay! My feet, they 
I basically slipped down. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what did you do to it? I didn't do anything. Oh, it's slipping fast. <laughs> no, I'm just green. Sun is coming out. Great sign. Ooh. Oh, the ducks are flying. There was a pheasant over there. Yeah, there, there was. Oh, they're being chased by that little dog. <laughs> Where are we going? There's so many pubs here. There's like more pubs than there is houses. So <laughs> there, almost, there almost is. There's yeah. so many. So we're going on a pub crawl. Daisy's got a list of like how good, many? Good. Ten, ten pubs. No, I've got like six. That'll be right. I've got like six, 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 six seven. So. We could potentially go to more, but those are like the top rated ones. Yeah. Yeah? Just don't have four shots of Sambuca this time. Oh, shush you. Hello everyone, so we're all ready to go out now. The sun's still relatively shining. Um, yes, we're going to start our pub crawl. Josh has just gone to get his ID. Because he forgot it. Put a little white number on. Black. Black. Blue, Black. Blue denim jacket. Nice and then take the jacket off, show without the dress. Show without the jacket. This is the dress. <laughs> got air forces. Um, we got stormy morning. Um, passion and porn sauce. So it's like a porn star martini type thing. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> That's good. That's really nice. Look how cool this place looks. Look at guitars and stuff. Look at this sign. This is what we like to see. It is so cool here. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I've got a gin and lemonade, and Josh has got this cherry thing, thing from Belgium. So, we're at this place called The Round, and they do burgers. So I've ordered a pike o' pickle burger without the buns and salmon instead. And Josh has got this really hot burger and crinkle cut fries with snow bacon cheese. That sounds really nice. I might have this still served. And, then... and we've got a sharing board of six mini cocktails. So you can try loads of different ones. I reckon after that, we'll have a Solero. Because you like snails, don't you? It's like your favourite ice cream. Strawberry daiquiri slushy. Yeah. Right there. That is the twinkle. Oh. Peanut colada slushy is that. That one. Then got wild strawberry and rose bellini. That, is that one. The Felstar martini is this that. This one. We shake it ourselves. And the gooseberry and elderflower collins is that one. Yeah. Go and pour it. Yeah. Oh, that's extra. Whoa. That's what we like. Go on then, taste test. Okay. That's really nice. Our mirrors are perfect. Yum, yum, yum. Enjoy guys. So this is the Solero. It literally tastes exactly like a Solero, doesn't it? It's honestly. And this is the full so size strawberry daiquiri that we ordered with a little Harry Bros strawberry. Yum! So good. Hello everybody, so we just come out of the round Keswick and oh my god, it was it was so good. Like the drinks alone were lovely, especially the sharing platter because I've never really seen anywhere do something like that. 
and Josh has a lot to say oh, about no, his spicy honestly. burger. So no, it's not just that though. So it was twenty pound for the sharing platter with six oh God, cocktails on them. These yeah. cocktails are so generously sized, and they tasted incredible. Yeah. They had six, you're not keeping me in the camera, they had six slushy cocktails. Oh my god, like the two, because we had a Slero, yeah. it tastes exactly like the ice cream. Yeah, and it's literally exactly like it. Was like so it. Good. And then I had the burger of the month. And oh, so good. Oh, it's a football people. It was like the best burger I've ever had. I would honestly say, I said it to a guy, it was like the best burger I've ever had. They were so laughing at me because I'm not drunk. It was the best burger I've ever had. I would hope so. He tipped them £15. That's, for not, a student, that's not that big for of a, a student, tip. that's a lot. I for never tip. So the fact that I even tipped. Yeah, exactly. But the guy was so nice. So the manager guy poured himself a Pepsi and he downed it in like three seconds yeah. and then carried on making other people's drinks. We're about to go into another bar, Weatherspoons. Yeah. Good old Weatherspoons. That's the last place we're going to go to, I think, because like I properly overdid it. What day was it? Monday. Last Monday. Yeah. Yeah, last Monday. And I already feel a little bit like almost sick already. Basically, what happened was I ordered Daisy. No, I don't really want to talk about it no. because it'll make me feel sick. We've had five drinks. Five, six, we're on something. We are on our way back to the campsite. Yeah, I do. He literally just only had like a couple of drinks from other spoons, didn't we? It was a good crawl. I think yeah, it was a Yeah, because the thing is, like, I've never done it before. So. Yeah, but... Yeah, it's all. Oh, we found some dark. good places. We found yeah. the round, which was really good. Now we're going to go back to the campsite and then we'll see you guys tomorrow um, when we're canoeing. We're probably going to have a bit of a lie because we haven't really had a lie in yet, have we? Oh, so we'll have a little bit of a lie in and we've got canoeing at 1 30. We're just out for a sponsored lunch and we're at the Link. Lincoln Kitchen Lincoln. and it's so pretty here and I got some I got a huge piece of avocado toast with halloumi and bacon and Josh got a big breakfast but that looks so nice yeah and after this we're gonna go canoeing Are you comfortable <laughs> <laughs> you comfy yeah you look the part you always annoyingly look the part <laughs> On the paddle boat or the canal boat, or is it canoe? It's a canoe. Canoe. Oh, We're in the water. Oh, my. It's raining. It's raining. I should have got my head out of my uh, life jacket. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> That's what he's doing, he's trying to catch the wave. Oh my god. So we're on an island. A literal island. In the middle of the, the lake. 
just having a little explore and a little bit of a break aren't we um honestly it's so amazing i'd highly recommend highly recommend for people to do it it's so cool so this is what the island looks like Ooh. literally in the middle of the lake it's all open water mountains over there from canoeing it was amazing we loved it it was, really, really, it was really so really good nice. yeah we really really enjoyed it it was like see this is why i had a feeling that it was going to be sunny today because almost the whole time we were on there was it wasn't even that bad like it didn't really rain too much mm. it was all right it was um like so good just being on the lake like, we went so far out we basically went on the completely other side we... of the lake that lake don't water which is the lake that we're next to and we could see when on the way back we could see our little tent yeah we went so far that if we'd like rode for another like three minutes we would have been on the other end of the lake yeah 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 we might go back into the lake with our wetsuits on we're not 100 percent certain um but we've, we recorded a lot of footage today i don't want this day to be too long do you get what i mean because we've got a lot to do because tomorrow we're doing the go ape and then tuesday we're doing the alpaca walk and then wednesday we're potentially having a beach day if the weather permits thursday we're going to a distillery and then going to the wildlife park and then friday is um our last proper day there and we have we don't have any plans for friday at the moment because it's spontaneous Spontaneous no, day. We'll see you guys tomorrow because we're only going to be in the lake for a couple of hours, even if we do go in, and then we're just going to eat and Watch sleep. Love Island. Watch Love Island. Justice for Teddy. Yeah, justice for Teddy. Okay. But yeah, so we'll see you guys tomorrow when we are going to the Go Ape course. <laughs> <laughs>